This is my booster. Uh, it's on a different profile than the others. It's max graphics and sound. The others are potato mode and no sound. Uh, kind of cuts out the option of uh, getting regular ports that my port hold is for. I hope at some point to correct that. But until then, uh, yeah. Okay, so my boosters, my Logi, increases the chance, almost to certainty, that the rats will immediately attack the Logi, get wiped off the field by Wang, by the Coons. Uh, hopefully that happens very shortly, so that'll be a flawless video. And, uh, well, assuming the mic is on. Okay, so. Let's get started now. Um, in an attempt to differentiate intuitively a the middle of the screen, not looking up in the corner, uh, the different characters I've got, so I can know which one is in the foreground. I have made faction skins available for all my guys. Pretty cheap, actually. Uh, I totally recommend it. Also recommend in high sec when you're doing hulks. Use a freighter. Tanked, of course. But yeah. I recommend it. Now, this Orca is proof against incursions. It will hold its own and have the range to take it out. And here they go, see? Flawless. So happy about that. And there they go. Apples are just taking them out. Crystal management is, uh, yeah, it's uh, not a walk in the park, really. Just wait till that's halfway, turn this off, and turn it back on. There you go. Perfect. Zero on that. So while I'm blabbing, it doesn't go to full. That would be less than flawless. Alright, so uh, the cap stability uh, is needing implants. Come on. There we go, full set. Uh, I need the capacitor in uh, 1 and 2 to get that going. Uh, E605 as well. Uh, yeah, capacitor management. Uh, as good as it gets. And that is the Orca. As you can see, I've got all my roids tagged. One and two for the first one, three and four for the second one, five, six for the third one, eight and nine. Um, now this one's got a uh, full heart of a set. I don't actually like this. I'd rather go with uh, two of them being the uh, CA1 and CA2 for the CPU and power. Absolutely, all the way. Uh, I only lose 10% uh, range. The range is very nice. 46, but, you know, I mean, Jesus. It's... There's way better fits when you have uh, the extra CPU power. Trust me. Right, so this 
stuff. And I've got lots of volume in my lights. Don't forget. I will show you the fit of one of my miners. The implants. So the implants is CA1, CA2, the rest of the harvest, low grade, about geez, probably over one probably about 1.5 billion S worth of uh, implants. And I could change these a bit. Uh, so far we're doing great. Okay. Here it is. Um, kind of not happy with my crystal selection. Uh, but you can fine tune it slowly for location for sure. Um, yeah, I've got about, what, four Athenors in this system, I'd like to get up and running at some point for a, oh, I don't know, um, I'm hoping for a weekly pull so I can knock it out three hours, this, this is taking a full three days for a max pull, check out this, it's a, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice, I've got a rig on the, on the Athenor that makes it last three days, totally worth it. Uh, but yeah, um, I prefer to be able to take out my, uh, take uh, offline my uh, reprocessing factory. Because, geez, two, two month pull? Heck yeah, why not, right? But I want to go down to one week so I can help out my alliance mates elsewhere. Uh, knock, knock it out park in three hours? I got, you know, I'm spending an entire weekend on this field. I can't help my guys. That's a uh, that's a big deal. All right. Yeah, the skins aren't aren't so great on high res. Looks pretty good for the uh, for the old um, trader there, huh? Cat or skin? Speaking of. my fit. Yeah, uh, I want to get tech too. Um, I, in six hours, I can do an entire one-third of this two-month field, and I've only had to dock, or only had to drop off my um, ore nine times in those six hours. So yeah, I'll take a dozen drop-offs instead of nine uh, for quite a bit more uh, tank. I'll just show you here. It's uh, quite nice. Structure percent and cargo capacity. So I was thinking, oh, 5%, minus 5% cargo? Well, yeah. But yeah, look at that, 18 versus 25. And that's, I don't think it's stacking penalty for uh, hull bonus. So it yeah, it's going to be quite substantial. Plus, if I get uh, my not uh, slave implants um, plus a, a mechanic implant, that'll increase the armor. Uh, it's, you know, what, 20, 20 spent? Maybe uh, um, 12, almost 20 hit points armor? You know, I mean, if the other team are not doing it smart uh i could get by with a sliver of hull left and all the suicide gankers would be dead yeah um but yeah i mean play it smart you know yeah, stack the odds in your favor you, you know just because you have a bigger tank doesn't mean the other side's gonna bring more guys that's that's their bullshit line i've uh i've seen the hulk again it's, uh, yeah, they want to be on the kill now, uh, and so therefore they offer it alone. So, you know, it takes a, a rare occasion for them to gang up. Uh, we've seen Goon Swarm and Naraja gang up on just random, almost empty freighters, so it'll happen. Just, you know, this is Asinon, like literally the ass end of the, of Hisek, so, yeah. It's pretty safe, but, you know, stack the odds in your favor.
keep an eye on local. Really like the local size now. Oh yeah, really like it. Yep. Yes, sir, Ray Bob. I used to go with Cascaded. Yeah, Cascades. Um, yeah, like that. Um, and it usually 99% of the time I'd have it this way. I was trying a new way. I didn't like it, but yeah, I'd have it in the Seneche and then Hereticus and then Minor Freak and then Ninja Freak, and I'd be able to see, you know, the people because you can't have it on the other side. You won't be able to see this. You just see this in the cascading windows. So. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry about the no music. And I've done my fits, my implants. Oh yeah, and by the way, um, I do try to keep the orientation different for each ship. So, you know, that's Kaldari with the theme. Oh right, um, the matter and the matter theme, and uh, facing that way. Galente and Galente theme facing this way. Amar and Amar facing this way, and Kalari uh, facing that way. Yeah. Um, also, this is 100%, uh, 100 uh, 0 transparency, 33% transparency, 66% transparency, and 100% transparency. I, it's very subtle. I, I'm just using every trick in the book to be able to differentiate between clients. It's so far, well, looking you know, right in the center, not you know, right here. I can I can tell. And then the further out I go, I gotta shift my vision, and you know, why should I shift my vision every time just to check who it is? It just seems ridiculous. That's just me. Alright, so... Yeah, really happy with this video so far. I think I've got all of the information I need uh, to pass it on. This is pretty advanced uh, video, actually. Uh, it's not explaining a lot of, you know, noob stuff, but when you're at a Hulk and Freighter and Orca level, you know, you've got it made. Now, I've got to remember to talk about my stabber. See that stabber? It's going to kick it up a notch. It's an oversized micro warp drive, and it can get up to 5,000 meters per second. It can bump things, something fierce. Uh, pretty much a 10 pin, uh, this mining team. Not so much the Orca. Got a Higgs rig on it. And I'm quite shocked about how little I can bump a Higgs rig. So, yeah. I like the Higgs rig, I just don't like it on my victims. Because bumping is my specialty. It's been that way for God. 2008. Yeah, I can hit moving targets. I can hit evading targets. I can bump them. Yeah, that's a tale for another time. Hopefully, I can get a video of that. And lastly, I think I better talk about. Uh, the UI. Um, this is uh, it's kind of close to. Um, yeah, well, this is Seneche's. It's different. My miners all have a different one. It's the newest, with the uh, the local on the left. See, uh, but my freighter has local on the right. And it's, uh, this is very similar to the previous videos I've done. And this is a new setup, and I'm, I'm with with that large mining fleet. It can fill this entire thing, and I want to be able to see any neutrals come in. So it's going to be absolutely awesome to be able to see stuff. Um, I believe and that is it. I I do like my ore scanners. Hardly have it on my Max. Don't need it. But on Hulks, when you're ripping the fields up, it's it it pays dividends to have a you know foreshadowing what's going to happen soon. I 
Did I miss it? I believe it's flawless. I think I've got everything. Got the implants. Got the fittings. Got the rat. I even showed a correction for a mistake. I've not had my orals fill up. Um, and I've locked out and not had a roid deplete on me, which is interesting to watch, but usually has my OCD going off the tracks. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, yeah. I'd be really proud of this video if it actually succeeds. And let's check in on that uh, stabber. There it is. Yeah. Now, I'll, if this is an interloper, I'll warp in at 100 and then mosey on in to bump somebody. Uh, a thousand kilometers away, it takes quite a while, and you, it doesn't, you don't really benefit. Uh, I just like it that far out. It uh, looks pretty intimidating out there. Because <laughs> it's going really quick. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Instantly tell who I'm looking at. It's great. I love it. I can't think of anything else. Yeah, Max. Max pull, and that one's another max pull. Two months. And yeah, that's the flow, ebb and flow of mining. Keep the weather eye on the crystals. Weather eye on the ore scanner.